What's up, y'all? Welcome to Epiphany Tarot. I'm here to do the daily reading. And this is my second attempt doing this reading. I don't know what the fuck is going on, but this is my second time trying to do this reading because the first reading was just so weird. Like it was the first reading was a lot of confusion. It was somebody that was feeling like they were alone. You know, it's like some this full moon brought on some type of tower moment and has left everybody feeling confused. Like everybody is in their separate corners and don't don't know what to do. You know what I'm saying? It's really how it feels. Only thing that I did see was that collective is just like at this point you're just like, okay, I'm finna get back to the bag. I'm gonna get I'm finna get refocused. I'm finna get to the money. Because you don't understand what's happening or what's going on when it comes to matters of the heart. It's just like you you're you don't know. You know what I'm saying? And like I was saying in the other reading, I'm like a couple of readings ago, I was speaking about Pluto moving into Aquarius. So this is not the time to be trying to control a situation, whether you're on the karmic side or whether you're on the high, the high vibe inside. Just trying to control any situation that's beyond your control is going to backfire at this point. So I feel like. I feel like you collective, you feel this way. Be, like you feel uncomfortable because it's like you're trying to control the situations that's out of your control. Now, some of you, we do have control is issues, myself included. So this is not. It's a difficult place to be in because I feel like you're not. It makes you uncomfortable just trying to go with the flow and just see what's going to happen next. That makes you feel uncomfortable, collective. You're the type of people that want to know what's going on. You like to have a plan. You like to be organized. But I feel like when it comes to whatever this situation is that you're dealing with in regards to love, it's like you can't do that. You know what I'm saying? You really just have to let go and let God. And I really feel like it's really testing you. You know what I'm saying? And it's just, I feel like somebody's been crying because in the last reading, I, I almost had to cry like three times. And the overall energy came out was the nine of wands. So I'm like a lot of you, you're irritated. You have an attitude. Some of you could be projecting your anger onto other people. Like I said, because of whatever this tower was, this situation that just happened with the full moon. It's just like, you're not trusting anybody. You got your guard up. It's just like, you just, I don't know. Something here was a major trigger for you. And I just feel like you're trying to like, It's like you're just trying to figure out where to go next type shit. Then we got blinded to the pain. So a lot of you, it's just like the nine of wands energy is also like the wounded warrior. That is somebody who's been through hell and back when it comes to relationships and shit. And I feel like you're just exhausted. You're tired. You're frustrated. You just don't know what to do with this situation. You don't know what to do with people. It's just like the only thing that you can think to just focus on is the bag, the money, your stability, because nothing else it seems to be going right. I just feel like a really like irritable feeling, okay? Like real shit. It's a lot of confusion. Like I don't, it's like nobody knows what's happening here. The karmic is confused. The masculine, masculines are confused. Shit, the collective is confused. I mean, the collective has clarity on that they should move on from something, but they don't understand why. Like, it's just like, what the fuck? Like, I don't know. It, it's something. It, this energy is weird. Okay. So the overall energy that I pulled this time is blinded to the pain. So for some of you, it's just like, yeah, I feel a sense of numbness here. It's just like, you're so numb now. It's just like, you're so used to being disappointed when it comes to matters of the heart. It's just like, that shit don't even fucking matter no more. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, you're, you're really like, over it. Like, real shit. Give me three cards, here. Show me what is going on here. Yeah, I feel like you're self-reflecting. Like, what the fuck just happened? Like, what is, like, what? <sighs> Collective. I feel like you just don't want to see something. You don't. 
it's like whatever this is that just happened it's just like you don't even want to talk you don't want to talk about it you don't want to do like you just want to be left the fuck alone like real shit I also was picking up on somebody having like an unexpected visitor this weekend so somebody could like unexpectedly knock on your door and you might be like who the fuck you know what I'm saying like who the fuck is in my house or some shit yeah but blinded to the pain it's just like some of you have been through so much when it comes to love it's just like at this point you just don't know Yeah, my spirit is telling me, like, you see no future. So, I don't know what that means. Like, it's like, I don't know. It's like any, I don't know. I feel like collective, you're working through something. But whatever just happened, I feel like it really killed your spirits when it comes to the matter of, in, in matters of the heart, in matters of love. Like, something just, like, you don't, it's like when you think about, the future of your love life and what you want and where you see yourself it's just like it doesn't exist it's like it's nothing there it's like blank getting three cards here what's the message for today april 7 2023 I just feel like somebody is just extremely, like, tired. It's just, like, you don't want nobody to get close to them. Like, something has triggered your trust issues, like, real bad. It's like, you don't trust no one. Yeah, inside scoop, a closer look, nosy up in your business. So, somebody is, like, trying to find out what you got going on. I just heard somebody trying to get inside your head. And not, like, in a bad way. But they just want to know what you're thinking and feeling about a situation inside scoop they're trying to figure out like where your head is at yeah same shit different day it's just like you feel like somebody is just like everybody else you know what i'm saying it's just like it's like nothing new it's the same shit different person like yeah you're running away or you left somebody or you walked away or you getting out of dodge yeah bottom of the deck it says dodging bullets it says blocking negativity escaping crazy people protected by haters like yeah you're you're running it you're trying to, I feel like you didn't figure out that somebody you were dealing with is toxic. It's like a toxic situation. It's just toxic. Like it's low vibe. It's just like now that you have the clarity about what is up with this person, I feel like you're just running far, far away. You're closing your eyes. You're covering your eyes. You don't want to see it, hear it, feel it, touch it, look at it. Nothing like real shit. It's like you don't want shit to do with it. It says inside scoop a closer look nosy up in your business. You need messages, spirit from the keeper. What is this for the collective? Nosy closer look up in your business. What is this? Yeah, imprisonment. Yeah, somebody is in the eight of swords energy when it comes to you with this imprisonment card. Like, somebody here doesn't know. It's like they're all up in their head. They don't know what the fuck is going on. Eight of Swords, like, what do I do? Like, where do I go? How do I fix this? Like, somebody doesn't know what to do. And I feel like they could be getting advice from the wrong person, though, which is making them feel even more confused. What is the same shit different day here? Yeah, distant horizons. Oh, distant horizons here. Yeah, privileged lady. So I feel like in the dis I feel like this is spirit saying with distant horizons and the privileged lady, because you are the privileged lady. You are the empress. I feel like in the distant horizons, you're gonna see why this situation panned out the way that it did and why something just happened here it doesn't make sense now but i feel like it's going to make sense in a minute like real shit it could be in the next 36 hours i don't know why i just said that <laughs> the next 36 hours um something is going to make sense it's going to be clearer
why is running here yeah courthouse libra some of you could be running away from a libra yeah i feel like something weird is happening here like a lot of you i feel like some of you are finna get some unexpected communication like i feel like a tower moment just happened recently with all that full moon and shit but it's like now that that tower moment has happened it's like shit is like happening really really fast but you don't even know how to process it all because you're it's like you're grieving about something Something that you wanted that didn't pan out right, but it's like what you're not noticing is that tower moment has caused change. It, it's bringing in a lot of opportunities, a lot of blessings, a lot of communication, and I feel like you're you're sh like it's like you're shying away from it. It's like I feel like that tower moment triggered you, but it was necessary so that something else could come in, but. That shit done scared you so fucking bad. It's just like you don't even want to look or see or acknowledge or talk to somebody here. It's just like you are like. <sighs> yeah, because somebody is thinking about you with the thoughts card on the bottom of the deck. Somebody wants to talk to you, send you a message or something here. Clarify this courthouse card. And I'm telling you, somebody out here is running far away from a Libra. Like courthouse, courthouse, that's the justice. Basically, technically, the judge is out here. This is the justice card to me. And then with the running card, like somebody out here is running far the fuck away from a Libra. I feel like it's a lot of shit happening at once. But I feel like the only thing that you're really tripping off of is this tower moment that just happened. But it's other shit going on around you. And it's just like maybe people are reaching out to you or trying to connect with you, communicate with you. And you're just like, I don't know. It's like you're like trying to hide out or ignore these people or this situation. It's like you're something. I don't know. Something has something has scared you. Like real shit. Yeah. House car here. Yeah, we got mature man on the bottom of the deck and sudden wealth. Yeah, I feel like you can have more than one man trying to come at you at once. Like, I'm trying to make this make sense. So, it's like a tower moment just happened, right? With this person that you were dealing with. And you don't understand why you're confused about that shit. You're feeling some type of way and all type of shit. You're trying to process your emotions and shit. But it's like in the midst of you trying to do that, it's like other people trying to come at you, trying to come toward you and shit. And you're just like, this is all just too much. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, you don't know what's happening. It's just like, what the fuck? Yeah, I don't know. Let's see. What's all the signs for involved in this shit? Yeah, Mercury wanted to fall out. So it could be a Gemini, but Mercury is the planet of communication. That's why I say it's like somebody's bombarding you with communication here. Or it could be more than one person. And it's just like, you don't know what the fuck is going on. Because somebody just triggered the fuck out of you. You got your guard up. You're defensive. You don't want to talk. You're already irritated. But I feel like it's people coming at you. It's like they want answers and shit. They want you to clarify shit or something for them. And it's just like, you don't know what to tell them. Like, type shit. What's all the X signs are significant? Yeah, Jupiter, so it could be um, a Sagittarius out here. We got Pluto, there's the tower. I'm telling you, it's just like shocking. Like, it's like shit happening. Like, Neptune, we got Pisces out here. Fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and we got Scorpio on the bottom of the deck. So, yeah, I feel like so it could be a lot of signs involved in this shit because no one particular sign came out. It's just like <sighs> blessing confirmation. So, <laughs> it's like multiple signs out here. The only actual sign that came out here is Scorpio.
Other than that, we got air signs out here. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, fire signs. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We got Neptune, which is Pisces. We got Pluto, which is Scorpio again. And then we got Jupiter, which is Sagittarius. So it's a lot. This may resonate with a lot of signs, okay? But it's just like something you just experienced like a complete breakdown or a complete tower moment in a situation to where you don't know what the fuck is getting ready to happen next. But it's just like you're being bombarded with communication from somebody or multiple people. And it's just like you don't know what to do. You know what I'm saying? It's like somebody's coming to you for answers and shit. Give me three cards, spirit. What's the message? Like this is this almost feels like this could also be like somebody that you haven't heard from in a long time is finally making their attempt to communicate with you. And you're just like freaked out. You're like, no. Because I feel like for some of you, you haven't heard from this person in so long to the point where Oh, this person seems like a memory or a ghost. You know what I'm saying? This is like something from your past is resurfacing and you're like, I think the fuck not. Like you're running far away from this person, whatever this is. You're like, no, nah, not this shit again. I'm out of here. You know what I'm saying? Like something has really scared you off or is scaring you off. Something is up, okay? Yeah, we got a King of Swords reverse. I told you. So it's a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius out here, male or female. But the King of Swords reverse is somebody who lacks integrity. It's somebody who's a liar, somebody who's bitter, somebody who's vindictive, spiteful, somebody who doesn't do their research. They just like to be right, but they don't ever know what the fuck they're talking about. King of Swords Reverse is also somebody that's verbally abusive. This is somebody who has an attitude problem, problem very slick at the mouth. Like, think they're smarter than everybody. Like, the King of Swords Reverse is the type of motherfucker you can't tell shit to. It's an asshole, basically. So, let's see. And it's a liar. So, this is somebody who does not tell the truth. Yeah, then we got the Eight of Swords reverse. So for some of you, you dealt with this person in the past, but you broke free of all their mind fuckery, all their lies and shit with the Eight of Swords reverse. For some of you, you could be hearing from this person because they recently got out of jail. Eight of Swords reverse. Like this person may have been locked up and you had no idea. And then you get some sort of unexpected communication from this person. It's like, what the fuck? Yeah, then we got the Sun card reverse. So we got Leo out here too. But sun is in reverse. So somebody out here is not happy. Okay. Somebody out here is not happy. They're depressed. I feel like I, I feel like somebody's upset out here. It's like they feel like a dark cloud is looming over their head. Like they have nothing to be happy about or anything. Yeah, seven of pentacles. So somebody is out here waiting, or somebody here is wanting to plant seeds, wanting to invest. It's like they're waiting on something with the seven of pentacles. I don't know what they're waiting on though. Why is the king of swords reverse? Yeah, ten of, ten of Wands. Yeah, so this King of Swords has a lot of baggage. Ten of Wands, they're feeling overwhelmed, stressed out, um, feeling like they're on an uphill battle. Like, the struggle is just like, yeah, something is too much for this King of Swords reverse. They're, they're carrying some sort of heavy burden. I don't know what this is, though. Why is the Ten of Wands here? This burden that they're carrying, it could be guilt. It could be anything. Maybe this person did something to you or something. Why is the ten of, ten of Wands here? Yeah, Moon card. Yeah, this person is hiding that they're feeling stressed the fuck out, weighed down. This person is afraid of, of their future, of what's to come. Why is the Moon card here? Some of you, this could be a Cancer. 
Yeah, seven of wands. This person could be embarrassed by their circumstances. They could be struggling to survive. It's just like, I don't know. It's like this person has given up. Why is the seven of wands here? Reverse. Yeah, temperance. Yeah, that's you. You're the earth angel. So maybe this person feels like you brought them peace into their life at one point. Your energy was healing. So some of you, this person wants to reconcile with you with the temperance, but they're definitely not in the right energy to be reconciling with anybody. Some of you, this could be a Sagittarius. Why is the temperance here? Yeah, three of pentacles. First. Yeah, you don't want to work with this person anymore. You feel like it's too difficult to work with them, to cooperate, to collaborate. Some of you, this could be at work. Maybe you feel out with a co-worker or something. That's a third conclusion first. Cool so this person tried to push you in a third party. Yeah, but now this person's in love with you. King of Cups. Yeah, this person is deeply in love with you, but they did something here so you don't want to fuck with them no more. Why is the Eight of Swords reversed? Yeah, two of wands, reverse. So there was a decision made out here. Where was the two of wands, reverse? Yeah, this person, yeah, this person is, so it could be somebody out here that chose the wrong path and they know that now with the eight of swords reverse, they know they chose the wrong direction. They should have went with you, you know, went, went where you were going, followed your lead, but they didn't. Nine of Cups reverse. This person was gaslighting, love bombing you, being insincere. Nine of Cups reverse. Just selling you a bunch of dreams and shit. Yeah, eight of yeah, Ace of Pentacles. So be careful here, because it could be somebody out here trying to love bomb you today, acting like they're gonna give you a real offer with the Ace of Pentacles, or it's like they're trying to rush you. You know what I'm saying? It's like they're coming in real quick to love bomb you because they realize they just made a mistake and they're trying to hurry up and give you this Ace of Pentacles now. Because yesterday's reading, I was talking about instant regret. So somebody instantly regretted something yesterday after they did something or after they got caught and they realized this. So now they're trying to hurry up and rush back in, love bomb you and offer you the Ace of Pentacles. That's the Ace of Pentacles here. Yeah, judgment reverse. Yeah, they made the a wrong decision and they were experiencing some type of karma because of that. Yeah, they made the wrong decision. They made the wrong choice. But they're trying to hurry up and rush back in, love, bomb you, promise you all this shit, and offer you this Ace of Pentacles. Why is the judgment reverse? Yeah, I told you, look at that. Seven of Swords reverse. Yeah, you caught this person in a lie. You caught them being sneaky. You caught them trying to get away with something, trying to do something. Yeah, with a Queen of Wands reverse. Yeah, they hurry up and block this bitch. Eight of Wands reverse. Yeah, they were being sneaky with a Queen of Wands reverse. Somebody that they were cheating with or somebody that they were still talking to from their past or some shit. They got caught still fucking around with this bitch. They got caught up. And they realized they, they experienced some type of instant karma with the Judgment reverse. And they, they ate of wands reverse with the queen of wands reverse. They blocked this bitch or something backfired on her. Yeah, they could have gotten into it with a family member or an ex or something. Eight of wands. Yeah, hang hey, man. Now they're feeling stuck. Some of you could be a Pisces. Yeah, six of wands reverse. Yeah, they fell from grace instantly. I don't know what the fuck this person did. They could be an attention whore, somebody who's an attention seeker, somebody with outdated belief system. It's just like some somebody here just doesn't get something. They don't understand something. They just know. Yeah, hermit card. Yeah, they feel like you may not want this person around. Hermit card reverse. For some of you, could be a Virgo. It's like you're shunning this person. This person is not welcoming your energy and shit. It's just like you do not fuck with whoever this is. But this is, feels like somebody is making their attempt to, yeah, Ten of Pentacles reverse. This person lost everything. So they could have got married to somebody or just was in a relationship with somebody where they were acting like they had it all. Oh, I'm so happy. Oh, I got the best relationship, the best marriage, the best house, blah, blah, blah. 
all that shit is bullshit. The Ten of Pentacles is fake couples goals when it's in the reverse. This is a couple who's in, in financial debt. Their bloodline is cursed. Nothing is going well for them. They're actually losing everything, taking losses and shit. Um, and this is somebody that you cast out of your life. You do not want this person around you with the Hermit card reverse. That's why I said somebody out here is running away from somebody. It's like you see this person come in, you just go in the other direction. Like, I ain't even finna have no conversation. I'm not finna waste no time. Like, get the fuck away from me. Type shit. Why is the sun part reverse? Yeah, Ten of Swords. Yeah, somebody feels betrayed. It could be a Leo out here that feel like they got done dirty. Why is the Ten of Swords here? Yeah, they could have got done dirty by Emperor Reverse. Could be by Aries or by somebody who was pretending like they were ready for a relationship. Yeah, Five of Swords, somebody that was playing mind games and tricks. Uh, playing mind games, trying to win at all costs, trying to win by deceit. So this could be somebody with the Emperor Reverse. This could be somebody who's still legally married. Or this could be somebody who's like a baby father that got kids or something. Or they could be... They could have been previously married. They could be like a divorcee with the Emperor Reverse. But either way, this person lacks integrity. The Emperor Reverse is somebody who always, they're very egotistical, very prideful, likes to be in control, likes to run shit, but they lack direction. They lack vision. This person don't know where they hit it in their life. They're not a good leader. You know what I'm saying? They just like power and control. Five of Swords, yeah, they try to win at all costs. They don't care who they got to step on as long as they can maintain some sort of power, control, or image or something. Five of Swords here. Why is this Five of Swords here? Yeah, Star card. Yeah, so you're, you're the healer. You're the star. You're shining. You're bright. You're in your element. You're looking good, feeling good. You're blessed and highly favored. This person could also, whoever this Emperor Reverse is, he could also be like low key jealous of you, jealous of your shine, jealous of your light and shit. Why is the star card here? Yeah, Ace of Wands Reverse. This person turned you off. You're not interested. Like, this person has turned you all the way off. I don't know what they did. They could have did some backdoor shit with the Ten of Swords. Why is the... Yeah, because I feel like this person was trying to be sneaky with the Seven of Swords, but they got caught. They got caught with a fucking Queen of Wands reverse, the Aries Leo or Sagittarius. They got caught doing something, lying to her, talking to her, fucking something. They got caught doing something. But instantly, I feel like they realized that was the wrong decision. And now they're trying to save face. Yeah, three of wands. Because you're like, no, I'm turning my back on this shit. Like, real shit. Yeah, king of pentacles reverse. Yeah, this is somebody who's materialistic. This could be a male gold digger. Somebody who wants somebody to take care of them or somebody that gets into relationships for money and shit. And like I said, the King of Pentacles Reverse could be somebody, could be, it's, the King of Pentacles Reverse is supposed to be a married man or a committed man. So this person could be known to be a cheater. Emperor Reverse and the King of Pentacles Reverse, he could be in a relationship with somebody. Or like I said, he could still be legally married to somebody. If he has kids, he's a terrible dad. It's like he don't pay enough attention to his kids because he's too busy worried about money. This person could do something under the table as well for money. I mean, they sell something, sell drugs, sell something. I don't know. Why is the king of pentacles you wrote? Yeah, look at that tower. Woo yeah, this person's shit is getting rocked. This king of pentacles reverse. So this may be why you are unexpectedly hearing from this person. It's like they made the wrong decision and shit has blew up in their face yeah high priestess reverse yeah a secret came out mm -hmm. high priestess reverse yeah queen of pentacles yeah a, a secret came out about their wife or their girlfriend or something that has them in a state of shock 
That's what I'm saying. You could be hearing from this person out of nowhere, and it's just like, absolutely not. Like, Ten of Pentacles reverse. Ten of Cups. Yeah, Page of Pentacles. Now this person want to make an offer to you, but I feel like it's a small offer with the Page of Pentacles. It's like, let's start over. Um, I'm sorry. Like... It's like a small gesture or something. They may ask you out on a date or can I see you or something. That's the King of Cups here. Ace of Cups. Yeah, look at that. King of Cups, Ace of Cups. I'm talking about somebody really wants to be out here apologizing. But like I said, it could be two different people. It's somebody out here that's really in love with you that wants to apologize with the Ace of Cups. And then there's somebody else out here who, who has a situation going on and shit is hitting the fan. So now they're trying to hear you up and offer you this page of pentacles because they want the ten of cups with you. But it's like something going on in the background with this ten of cups reverse. I mean, this ten of pentacles reverse, this high priestess reverse, and the queen of pentacles reverse. We got the king to the queen of pentacles reverse and the high priestess reverse. It's a third party situation that just blew the fuck up. King to the... uh. King to the Queen of Pentacles reverse and then the High Priestess. Everybody knows the High Priestess can be a mistress. So I feel like it's a third party situation that just blew the fuck up out here. Towers upright. A third party situation has been blown to smithers. The side bitch was found out or she found out that she was a side bitch to this person who was still living with somebody, still legally married or still in a relationship or something. Also paint the pentacles here. Yeah, page of cups. Yeah, you got apologies coming. I feel like it's like people are bombarding you with communication, apologies, and shit. And you're just like, what the fuck? I feel like this shit is making you feel overwhelmed. <sighs> yeah, Knight of Wands reverse. So yeah, be careful of these apologies, these offers coming in. You know we're close to more Mercury retrograde. Some motherfuckers are trying to resurface, but Nine of Wands reverse. This is somebody who's a player, a liar, a cheater, somebody who's immature, somebody who has a mean streak. Yeah, somebody that could have possibly ghosted you with the Knight of Swords. And I feel like whoever this King of Cups is, I feel like this King of Cups and this Ace of Cups, this person really is sorry. But they still got caught doing something they ain't had no business doing. But this other person, this is somebody from way, like, deep in the trenches from your past that you do not fuck with. Somebody that ghosted you, like, a long time ago. And you do not fuck with this person at all. Neither, neither swords reverse. They're rushing in with communication and shit. But it's because something that they're involved in has filled the fuck apart. Has ruined their life, basically. Now they want to rush back towards you to try to save them and shit. Yeah, this person ain't got no... Whoever this Knight of Swords is, or this Sagittarius, this person ain't got no money. Nine of Pentacles reverse, eight of Pentacles reverse. They ain't did no work on themselves. Some of you, they could have been scamming and scheming with this Queen of Pentacles reverse. It's like they're insecure. Like, this is somebody who gets into relationships for money. So, this person's trying to rush back towards you because they know you got it. You're the star. Like, real shit. Why is King of Cups, Ace of Cups here? Yeah, three of swords. Yeah, somebody out here is really disappointed and heartbroken. This king of cups, he could have even cried. Like, you may not know that, but this king of cups could have cried over you. Three of swords, it's like they're heartbroken. They don't understand something here. I feel like this king of cups is confused. Maybe they apologized and they don't understand why you're not interested. Four of cups. How's the four of cups here? Yeah, justice. Yeah, they feel like something was unfair or, or something isn't right here. Yeah, they don't understand why you walked away. Ace of Cups. I mean, Eight of Cups. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? Yeah, Two of Cups reverse. Yeah, somebody could be waiting to hear from you because they're hanging on to your energy. Yeah, something has shifted. A will of fortune. Some, something has changed here. How's the will of fortune here? Page of wands. Yeah, I'm telling you, somebody's going to reach out to you. It's unexpected communication. You're going to be like, what the fuck? Yeah, six of swords. But I feel like you're going to keep going. Like, hey, this person's going to reach out to you, and you're going to keep going. Six of swords. Like, no, I'm not going to engage with you, talk with you. We're not. We don't got shit to talk about. There like, is somebody out here that you absolutely do not want to deal with, speak to, talk to, see nothing. 
like at all. Yeah, you're the queen of cups. Mm -hmm. And I told you, it's a king of cups out here who's really disappointed and heartbroken. Look, king to the queen of cups. It's somebody out here who loves you as deeply as you love them, but something happened here with the ace of cups and the three of swords and the four of cups. This person is like heartbroken and doesn't understand why you walked away. They feel like it wasn't fair. Like something here was unjust. Like they were done wrong. Like somebody here doesn't understand why you're walking away or why you're not interested or why you don't want their offer anymore. Oh. Yeah, Queen of Swords reverse. The Queen of Swords reverse. Yeah, the King of Swords reverse came out too. The um, hold on, y'all. Oh, Ace of Swords reverse. So, yeah, this King of Swords reverse from the past that you want nothing to do with. This motherfucker is dealing with the Queen of Swords reverse with the Ace of Swords reverse. A bipolar, lying, bitter, vindictive, spiteful, treacherous mean backdoor ass bitch like they they are with somebody or they got married to somebody because you got the king of swords reverse to the queen of swords reverse and then this is you over here queen of cups upright with the king of cups upright so you got a whole nother situation going on with this king of cups and then here's your ex from the past who's dealing with this queen of swords reverse and this person wants to rush back in towards you giving you this long do ass offer overdue ass offer you don't want that shit that's why you're running away from this person but like clarify this king of cups and queen of cups what is going on with this yeah six of pentacles yeah somebody wants to balance things out fix things works work thing work on things with you six of pentacles reverse i don't know what happened here but whatever transpired has caused this person to realize that they really have feelings for you and shit you know what I'm saying? It's just like, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you feel like this person was breadcrumbing you because of a karmic that's still obsessed with them. Six of Pentacles with the the devil card. But I feel like, you know what I'm saying? Because, like, I feel like this person is in love with you, but they still have some sort of tie or connection financially to this person from their past so this could be a baby mother because the six of pentacles is child support so maybe they pay this karmic um this toxic person from their past they pay them child support and shit or something that they have to do transactionally with money with this person from their past but this person is still in love with you though king of cups queen of cups ace of cups i just feel like something recently here was disappointing or you know, because I feel like I feel like it just could have been like a little people pleasing here. I feel like this King of Cups was trying to keep this um, karmic energy happy. You know, giving her money to shut her up or just spending time with her to keep her quiet and shit. But I feel like you picked up on it and it made you feel some type of way. So you walked away and it's just like because you're not you're the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups doesn't. I'm not about to share you with anybody. I'm not finna let you be giving somebody else all kind of time and attention and then you give me the bare minimum because you're trying to go back and forth between me and somebody else. You know, but I don't think it's because this person was like in love. I, this person is not in love with this karmic, but they have to deal with this person because of this six of pentacles. So it could be a child or some sort of child support where they still are connected to this person in some sort of way. But it's like they're using to, they're used to pleasing, like people pleasing with this karmic. They're used to having to do whatever this karmic says just so they don't do something crazy or do something toxic. But it's like this person is in love with you. They're really sad and heartbroken. Like real shit. It's like they want to apologize, Ace of Cups. Yeah, strength card, because you pull back your energy. You pull all the way back from this person because you picked up on that they were still doing some sort of people pleasing with this karmic. But like I said, it's they they were only doing it, and I'm not saying I'm not saying it as an excuse, but they were only doing it because of something that had to do with some money, child support or something. So maybe this karmic was like. You know, because this karmic is the, the karmic energy, the devil energy that's toxic as a motherfucker, low vibe. So I feel like this karmic could have been doing something like telling this king of cups, like, yeah, I'll take you off child support or whatever. So 
they were trying to overextend themselves or bend over backwards to, you know, play along with this karmic so they can get what they needed. You know, so if the karmic energy or their baby mother was like, well, I'll take you off child support or whatever if you do this. This person was trying to do whatever this karmic wanted them to do so they can get off child support. But I feel like you picked up on it as the queen of cups and you're just like, you know, maybe you thought that they were still fucking around or something. They're not really fucking around, but this person was trying to go with whatever the karmic wanted them to do so they can get something out of it. But it's just like, that's not how you go about shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, five of wands. It caused some sort of conflict or something, but somebody want to make amends here. They want to go from the five of wands up right to the five of wands reverse. They don't want to fight. They don't want to argue. They don't want to beef. Yeah, seven of cups. I told you, this person is confused. They don't understand. It's just like they thought that, you know, y'all are in love with each other. The queen of cups to the king of cups. Like they, you know what I'm saying? I don't think they realized that you picked up on what this shit was that they were doing in the background with this karmic that had something to do with money. It's like, okay, I understand you on child support and finances may be a struggle for you and shit, but like you can't people please the karmic and have me at the same time. You know what I'm saying? You want her to take you out child support. I understand that or whatever the fuck the case may be, but it's just like, or you have to give her money, six of pencils, something. It's something going on here with this karmic want money because the 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 uh, devil with the six of pentacles, it's like something that this karmic needs. She could always want money or something. Like, I don't know. It's like this karmic is hanging something over this person's head. I feel like she's doing it on purpose. With the six of pentacles, it could be child support. It's like she see this king of cups then moved on and fell in love with somebody else. So now she's trying to like fuck with him. You know what I'm saying? By teasing him, acting like she's going to take him off of child support, but not really and all this type of shit. And like at first he was going along with it, but he didn't realize that you were picking up on the shit too. And it just caused some type of confusion with the seven of cups. But I feel tears here. Ace of Cups. Somebody could have been crying. Somebody's definitely been crying with the Three of Swords and the Ace of Cups. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Page of Swords. Yeah, somebody is spying here. Trying to put two and two together on social media. See what you're sharing. See what you're talking about. Trying to see how you feel. Yeah, King of Wands reverse. That could be your ex. Two of Swords reverse. Yeah, you, you, you ignore this person. This King of Wands reverse, you ignore them. It's like you already know this person is low vibe, toxic, immature, a whore. It's like somebody from your past is King of Wands reverse that you know is a whore. Four of Swords, they may try to reach out to you. You're going to ignore them. You're protecting your peace. You're like, no, go the fuck away. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're the magician and the empress. You have no blockages. Like, nobody can block you. Or is somebody trying to manifest you with the magician and the empress? Somebody's trying to manifest your energy. They want you back because their their shit has fell and fall. I'm talking about, yeah, look at that full card verse. Somebody feels stupid as fuck. It could be Aries. But it's like somebody's shit has fell the fuck apart. Ten of Pentacles reverse. They didn't lost everything fucking with this Queen of Swords reverse. And now they're trying to manifest you back. But you got a whole other situation going on over here with this King of Cups that you're trying to figure out and work out that you're confused about and shit. Yeah, two of pentacles. Yeah, it's juggling here. Two of pentacles. There's two situations here. The six of cups. You got people from your past trying to manifest you, but then you got a soulmate energy out here that you're trying to figure out what just happened, what just went wrong here type shit. Yeah, four of pentacles. Somebody's trying to hold on to your energy. Yeah, so your ex could be a Taurus for some of you. If not, this person is just narcissistic. Um, the hierophonic verse. I told you, your ex from your past, they could have got married to somebody they're in a terrible marriage. Ten of Pentacles reverse, higher fine reverse, or they're just saving. Your ex can fuck their life up. Nine of Wands, they pissed the fuck off. Because you moved the fuck on, Chariot. Yeah, this reminds me, the Chariot with the Nine of Wands, this reminds me of that reading that I did where it was like a couple of days ago or a few days ago. If you haven't watched that reading, go back and watch it when I was like um, leaving your ex and the mess that they created and wishing them well. That's what this is. 
you left your ex in the dust and moved on. Chariot, now this person's irritated. They're pissed the fuck off with the nine of wands because their life is in fucking shambles and you're moving on to go live your best life and they're pissed about it. Yeah, five of pentacles. This person is like down bad, down sad. Four, 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 four on the timer. This person's down bad, down sad. The ten of pentacles came out in the reverse. The nine of pentacles came out in the reverse. The eight of pentacles came out in the reverse. And the five of pentacles is upright. This person does not have any money at all. They their their accounts are depleted. All that gold digging ass energy and shit, just trying to get into relationships with people for money and all that type of shit has caught up with somebody and now they're completely the fuck assed out and you want nothing to do with them. Yeah, lovers reverses. This person was a cheater or they slept with somebody that you know and they're in fucking regret. Five of cups. Uh -huh, they are miserable. Nine of cups reverse. They could be doing a lot of drinking. Yeah, three of cups reverse. Thinking about this third party situation. They could be getting gossiped about. Yeah, death card. It's over. Uh -huh, they know they fucked up. Now they stuck in this living situation or this unhappy home. Or it's just like their stability is fucked up. Four of wands. This person doesn't have anywhere to go. Or they hate their living conditions or their circumstances. They're stressed the fuck out. They're worried, thinking about the worst case scenario, anxiety, all type of shit, having headaches. Like somebody is fucked up out here. Like real shit. Um, I should pull some of these from the junkie deck and see what they talking about real quick. But yeah, your ex is trying to hurry up and manifest you back because their shit has hit the fucking fan, okay? But you're over here in your feelings and collective. Don't eat me up in the comments about that, but I definitely feel like you're in your feelings. The Queen of Cups came out. And it's not in a negative way, but it just means that your heart is open. You have emotions for somebody, but if something happened between you and this person recently... And I feel like you're going to figure it out. I feel like it may be a little confusion regarding that situation right now with the Seven of Cups. Like, you and this person are both just lost about what the fuck just happened and shit. But I feel like you're going to figure it out. You're going to talk it out. And uh, you're going to get back on the right track. But something had to be brought to the surface. Something had to be brought to your attention about this situation. It could have been. It had to be brought to the King of Cups' attention how this karmic is too much in your business you know what i'm saying you letting her have a little bit too much control when it comes to this new situation like you cannot do that like don't allow this karmic feminine energy to control how you move in this new relationship like fuck no you let her ass do that shit the last time and shit fucked up so the king of cups is learning a lesson about how to hold up these boundaries when it comes to this karmic Let's see what the junkie deck has to say. Let's see what the junkie deck has to say. time is at play here the emotionally unavailable man and divine masculine yeah so this divine masculine may have been emotionally unavailable to you but i feel like he wasn't like that at first because he showed up as the king of cups so this is somebody who um who switched up on you they start acting funny but i feel like it's because of that damn karmic she dangled something over his head or something. She did something that karmic feminine energy did something and triggered him into becoming emotionally unavailable to you. Yeah, the sun car. Yeah, it was exposed. It was brought to the light about how like, like, I feel like this person was just getting wishy-washy with you. Like they closed off their energy. They're the king of cups, but they start pulling back and you didn't understand why. But it's because this karmic was doing something in the background, dangling something in front of his face, teasing him or telling him, yeah, look at that, the devil. Yeah, it's the karmic energy telling him like, yeah, I'm going to take you out child support, if, child support if you do this or something like that. And he ended up pulling his energy away from you. Mm -hmm. 
the devil was exposed here. The problem, the, the person that was trying to delay you and this King of Cups relationship has been exposed. And I feel like you and this person is going to have a conversation about that. Yeah, karmic partner. Mm -hmm. Devil with the karmic partner. Yeah, this is some karmic partner from this person's past who is trying to intervene because they don't want this person to move on. Like real shit. It's like this devil karmic energy is trying to get this king of cups to sign another contract with them. Yeah, loyalty in the reverse and world card. Mm-hmm. Trying to keep this person from being loyal to you and shit. The world core. So far, you survived 100% of your worst days. Yeah, and for you, world core. And then so far, you've survived 100% of your worst days. You've been through this type of disloyal shit already. And you're not getting ready to experience that shit again. That's why you walked away. When you peep that this devil energy still has some sort of influence over this um king of cups. You were like, mm -mm, I'm good. Like, I've already been down that road where a nigga still listening to his ex or his baby mama or letting his baby mama have too much influence about what he going to do with his life and his future. Like, no, I'm not dealing with that. And this person may not understand it because they never had nobody bring it to their attention or some shit. Yeah, abandonment issue. Empress energy. Yeah, somebody can have abandonment issues out here. Or like I said, this could be you. Um, divine feminine, you're afraid of somebody ghosting you or walking away from you again because that's how somebody did you in the past. Somebody could have left you and abandoned you, ghosted you to go back to a baby mother. So it's like when you, when you realize that this person was still being influenced by a karmic, it's just like you got out of dodge because it's just like, no, I refuse to experience that shit again. Yeah, reunion, but I feel like you and this person gonna work it out. Two of cups. Yeah, you and this person is going to work it out. I feel like you just got triggered and ran away because you feel like this karmic was trying to penetrate your uh, your connection with this king of cups. But they were, you know what I'm saying? But it took for you to walk away to bring it to this masculine's attention. Yeah, earth angel. You're the earth angel. Bottom of the deck, connecting with your ancestors. Let's see. Tell me about this King of Cups. Yeah, Ten of Swords. Yeah, and he feels like, I don't know, he feels like something is come. Woo! Ten of Swords is a betrayal. That's like rock bottom. That feels like death. You know what I'm saying? Like, this masculine is like really like heartbroken or hurt. Like, yeah, chosen one. Ooh, it says, he's lying, sis. Uncover the truth behind his words and actions. So, I mean, look, this King of Cups could have been lying to you or he could have just been keeping the truth to you. Yeah, he didn't want you to know what the fuck was going on in the background between him and his karmic. You know what I'm saying? He tried to keep that hidden from you, but I feel like you picked up on it anyway. So then he's just like, yeah, I'm going to bust a move. Yeah, look at that. Told you, King of Cups. So I don't feel like this, it doesn't, I mean, you shouldn't be lying, period. But with the he's lying, sis, and the king of cups, I feel like he was lying to protect you. But that's not what you do. Like, you tell people the truth. I don't give a fuck how bad it's going to hurt, how much you think it's going to make them feel some type of way. You telling the truth to somebody is showing that you actually care about them. Don't lie to protect my feelings because I know how to hold my own. I know how to protect myself. I don't, you know what I'm saying? Emotionally, I know how to protect myself. I don't need you to do that. Don't lie to me to try to protect me. That's not protecting me. That's hurting me. Don't lie to me. Because I feel like you picked up on it anyway. Like, nah, like, mm -mm. Look, I would have told you how to go about it with this karmic versus you trying to lie to me to protect my feelings and then start acting weird and funny. Yeah, pay attention to, to the signs. Mm -hmm. You paid attention to the signs, all right. I told you, you knew something was going on. You're the queen of cups. You're intuitive. Yeah, look at that. You're divine feminine. Pay attention to the signs. You did. You realized something was up. Something wasn't right. You smelled something. Something didn't, wasn't right. 
and you brought it to his attention or you walked away because you're like, I'm not tolerating that world car. I've experienced shit like that already. I know how the car makes get down. I know how these evil, wicked ass bitches who feel like they done lost out on life and they shit fucked up. I already know how them bitches get down. And um, if you're going to deal with that, I'm not going to deal with you, period. Empress, I mean, goddess energy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, angelic protection, magic. Yeah, you're like, I'm protecting my energy at all costs. Even if that means I got to sacrifice you to do what I will. Yeah, narcissistic abuse in the three of swords reaching out. Yeah, this person... This person from their past, this karmic is very narcissistic. This person really broke their heart. So, yeah, I don't, I don't, collective look. I feel like you and this person going to have to figure it out, okay? Two of swords. Yeah, this person wants forgiveness. They want clarity. They want to choose you because this person knows now that you're not playing. You don't play about your energy. You don't play when it comes to this love shit. I'm not finna let you take me through the ringer because of some other bitch from your past. It's not getting ready to happen. I will leave your ass completely the fuck alone before I let a motherfucker drag me into a third party situation again. It's not fucking happening. So if you can't get that bitch under control, I'm out of here. Point blank period. If you can't put that bitch in her place, then it's, it's time for me to go. I'm not going to deal with this. Period. So you and this King of Cups is going to have a conversation about this. Um, they might tell you some type of truth. Mm -hmm. But I feel like it's so that y'all can get get on a better foot to get on a better page. I feel like that that um I feel like that um tower moment happened or all this shit that happened recently under the full moon took place because this this King of Cups was trying to start this off on the wrong foot and the universe is like ah, ah, you're not going to start this off like that you already know how that shit pans out because the king of cups is intuitive too you already know what happens when you do that when you try to hide the dynamic or the way you handle things with this karmic in the background while you're trying to build something with somebody else that you really care about you know how that shit pans out. So spirit, divine intervention happened and took place and revealed the shit so that you too can talk about it and figure out a better plan to keep that karmic bitch out of your business. Like, period. But anyway, this has been the reading. Please like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good shit. And I will holler at y'all later. Peace.